Gary Dobson and David Norris, the only two men eventually convicted of the murder of Stephen Lawrence as he waited for a bus in South East London 30 years ago. Five men were named as suspects in the unprovoked racist attack, but there was always talk of a sixth, a fair-haired man. Now it's been confirmed that that man was Matthew White. But it's also emerged that police failings meant it took 20 years to talk to a relative of White who'd reported his presence at the scene. I'm, I'm shocked, I'm angry, but if I'm frank, I'm not surprised. I mean, this family, uh, the Lawrence family, have had to go through years and years uh, of discovering, yet further failings from the police service, deep institutional, uh, racially driven failings. White was arrested twice but never charged. There was not believed to be enough evidence. He died in 2021. For Stephen's mother, Doreen Lawrence, it's prompted fresh fury that no officer's been punished for their role in an investigation deemed to be hampered by racism and alleged corruption. In a statement, she said, What is infuriating about this latest revelation is that the man who is said to have led the murderous attack on my son has evaded justice because of police failures, and yet not a single police officer has faced or will ever face action. It's prompted yet another apology from the Metropolitan Police, acknowledging too many mistakes with a lasting impact were made. A decision is yet to be taken as to whether criminal charges will be brought against four former officers for their actions. Emma Birchley, Sky News.